All spiritual believe, people believe in another life. You have to. It teaches you that there is another life. So we can't leave our ancestors. That's home. That's like leaving family. Can't leave our family. Our family is too beautiful and too strong. So we don't want to leave them. We keep ourselves together. In small villages. So the white man comes over from his cities where he's been crippled. From a society that is fear based because it is patriarchal. See, in a matriarchal society, it's not that women rule. Women don't rule in the matriarchy. There's female-male balance. Just as there's female-male balance in the universe, there's female-male balance in all of this life. So who are we, the most humble beings on earth, who are the most vulnerable beings on earth? We're even more fragile than a flower. There's flowers that will grow through snow. Bare, naked. We can't survive in snow bare naked. So here we are, Learning to live with the female because the female teaches men how to nurture. To put it simply, it's much more than this, but there's this balance and we seek to maintain that female-male balance. And only the females live longer than men. Duh! You know? The human female is the only being on earth that's been chosen by the great mystery to be purified with the moon. With the moon. They're purified naturally. My God, we're men. We don't live as long as we know nothing about purification from within. So we have to create our, our purification rites. Hence the sauna or the Enipi, the purification lodge. So we have this, and they teach men how to nurture. If you don't know how to nurture, then you're going to be afraid. And in that fear, you know, my ancestor, Chief Luther Standing Bear, who wrote a book, first part of the century, called My People the Sioux. And the, he wrote another book, The Land of Spotted Tail. No, The Land of the Spotted Eagle. I'm sorry, The Land of the Spotted Eagle. And he said, if you don't know the forest, you will come to fear the forest. And what you fear, you will want to destroy. That's patriarchy, because they're out of balance. The first living thing they fear are their women. Because they have no understanding of women. Women have this other sense, which the white male calls... Uh, what is it called? I lost it. Intuition. It's called intuition. That's what he calls it. I call it sacred knowledge. This ability to see things clearly. This ability to feel. And think of the woman how she goes from a child into a woman who is naturally purified. And she goes through this life, rearing children, teaching men how to nurture and be in balance, and then reaches the change of life. And when she becomes the elder that lives longer than men and has this full woman power. Until you know a woman, you'll never know life. And so our ceremonies here on this earth are to celebrate womanhood, to learn minutely. So we go through the Enipi, the Purification Lodge, the sauna, so that we can feel, have some little notion of what it's like to be purified. And we, we go through the sun dance and tear our flesh and create the blood 
because we want to have a minimal understanding at least of what childbirth is all about when she tears her flesh and gives her blood to create life. What is patriarchal societies? The world over, I don't care if it's Islamic, Judaic, um, Christian, Hindu, Buddhist, they're all male gods. I've yet to see a male anything give birth. I'm sorry. So, therefore, it's impossible for them to create. Duh! So they, they've come into this full flower of womanhood. And you'll know in indigenous societies, and indeed in all societies, but when an elderly woman speaks, people listen. 